Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Next Pines TV. My name is Lana Dries. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, November 7th, 2022. Now let's learn a new lesson with this week's SEL. Hey, Hadassah, what are you calling me for? An airdrop I got. From who? I don't know, it's anonymous. What's the? The disrespect. Now my sister went back from today. Here, a cyber bully started airdropping rude comments to Hadassah and Jasmine. Instead of telling the teacher, Hadassah and Jasmine started sending rude comments back. Let's try this again. Hey, Hadassah. I got an airdrop. From who? I don't know, it's anonymous. Look, what's the? The disrespect. Now let's just back to them. Wait, we really shouldn't. A teacher could see and we could probably get in trouble. Plus, we don't want this person to get the best of us. And we need to be the bigger person. I mean, I guess. Should we tell the teacher tomorrow, though? Yeah, we should. Let's go. Here, instead of Hadassah and Jasmine sending comments back to the anonymous person, they decide to tell a teacher tomorrow. Remember, instead of trying to handle a cyber bully yourself, try telling a teacher or a parent. See you guys next time on the next SEL. It's always better to be nice to people no matter what. Now is there a new word with word of the day? Santiago, I saw you obtained a really good score on your science test today. Yeah, I was really happy I got a 97% on it, mostly because it was a really hard test. Yep, a couple of the kids in our class also received a good grade on the test. I'm really glad they obtained the grade that they wanted. Me too. See, see you, you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the Day. day. Wow, what a great new word. Now let's see what happened today in history with Nia. Patriots, in today's history on November 7th, 1929, the Museum of Modern Art opened. The museum was devoted exclusively to modern art and is the largest and most inclusive of its kind in the USA. It is located in New York City and has about 200,000 artistic works. It was donated $40 million by Ken Griffin. They also have additional online classes to view the museum and to learn about the art in the museum. Maybe I should take one of those classes. It sounds so interesting. Now let's check in with Aiden for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is hamburger, ketchup, mustard, potato wedges, sliced peaches, Italian combo on Kaiser roll, and your choice of milk. Students. Keep in mind lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Aiden. I can't wait for lunch. Super Patriots, we're still calling on you for this quarter's exceptional software. For grades K through second, you will need 20 minutes weekly usage in Lexia and 25 past lessons in iReady Math. And for grades 3 through 8, you will need 25 lessons in iReady Reading and 25 past lessons in Imagine Math. All grades need to complete this challenge by Friday, December 23rd. Keep passing those lessons and you're sure to complete this challenge. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down in your pack packs at all times. And also, don't forget you're not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure you spit it out before you enter the building. Patriots, here are your National Junior Honor Society election results. Join me in congratulating these amazing individuals when you see them around the school. Second and third graders, your honor roll is on Wednesday, November 9th. It's invite only. Congrats to all who made it to honor roll. Scholars, there is no school tomorrow for students. Remind your parents to take this time and go vote. Now let's see what the weather is looking like today with Sophia. 
Thanks, Melanie. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is looking like a cool 85 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered showers. Today is a good day for some fun indoors. In other weather news, this might be the car of the future. A German-based company created an SUV that runs completely off of solar power, called the Scion. It will be sold in Europe for 25,000 US dollars. This is great for the environment because solar power is generally using power from the sun and turning it into electricity. This means no fossil fuels are being emitted. This is definitely a great option for families who like a modern, environmentally friendly vehicle. Now let's go to Chanel and Destiny for Hot Topic. Thank you, Sophia. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Even though Halloween just passed, everyone's already set their eyes on Christmas. Did you know that the famous movie Elf was created today? I guess today's a special birthday. Elf will always be a classic one. Speaking of Christmas, Mariah Carey has declared it's time for the frosty season. The star has transformed from a witch to Mrs. Claus. I know she's the Christmas queen, but at least give Thanksgiving a chance to shine. Saint Nick better wait his turn. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is releasing this Friday. The queen and her daughter fight to protect their kingdom after King T'Challa's death. This movie must have been very emotional for the cast. His place will forever be held. We've all seen satisfying videos of dominoes falling, but New Orleans has decided to try something different. A group of 850 people in New Orleans created a human chain reaction with mattresses to attempt to break a world record. Now see, I could never. I would love to try it one day. That's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Jasmine for the birthdays. Thanks, Chanel and Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Vladimir Cadet, Faith Ortega, and David Prince. Happy birthday! Let's get back to Melanie. Thank you, Jasmine. Patriots, here are your packed expectations. Represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Pardinez, Ms. Velez, Ms. Ayaninqua, Ms. Newton, Ms. Stone, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Galvez, Ms. Sheriff, Ms. Santiago, and Ms. Sobera. You all had the correct answer to Friday's daily challenge, which was, where do you take a sick bow? The correct answer is, a dog. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge! Three doctors said that Billy was their brother. Billy says he has no brothers. How many brothers does Billy actually have? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone in RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!